Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Tamiya's British Universal Carrier Mark II. This is better known as the Bren Gun Carrier. And the reason why I bought this particular kit was because when I was a kid, I've always wanted to build this particular kit, but I couldn't. So now as an adult, I'm going to build it. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have parts for the hull, figures, wheels, more parts for the hull, tracks, and the instruction sheet. Alright, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look! This is the completed model kit before painting, and it's a very nice model kit, especially if you consider that this model kit was first manufactured back in 1976. It has a lot of nice details, I like the wheels, the rivet details and it has a great interior and it just looks really really nice you notice that I haven't um, glued the wheels nor the tracks and that's because it makes it easier for me to paint the wheel wells inside I'm going to install these later on after I paint the model again very nice details and I recommend this model kit for all skill levels including the beginner. I think that the beginner would really like this model kit a lot. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave my entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to paint the main color and leave the edges um, black to give it more visual interest. Now I'm going to paint the entire model with highlights with the lighter color.
I'm going to protect my model by giving the entire model a coat of Future Flow Wax. I'm going to do some pin washing. I'm going to do some chipping effects. I'm going to give some dust effects. I'm going to give my entire model a tint of buff color. I'm going to add some mod effects. What you see right here is a dilution of yellow blue and water and right over here is a bottle of tau grout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add solution to places where I want to have mud and then I'm going to simply sprinkle on the tau grout. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from start to finish. Take a look. This is a completed model kit after painting, and I have to admit something to you. I didn't expect this model kit to look as good um, as it is right now. My expectations for this model kit was fairly low because this is a classic kit that was um, first manufactured back in 1976 and I simply assumed that the quality um, for this kit isn't as good as today's standards but I'm wrong. Given the technology uh, back in 1976 to make model kits, Tamiya has really poured their hearts out in designing and manufacturing this really well model kit and it really withstood the test, the test of time. I like my own paint job that I've done including the weathering, the mud effects, an excellent model kit. That completes this model project. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model kit but before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm, a, I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching. And always please, have a great day.